Hey everybody, this is Tom from Amplified Parts, and today we're going to give you a behind the scenes look at the production process for the can capacitors from CE Manufacturing. This is part one in a series of videos. The capacitors are made with original, vintage Mallory machinery. We'll show you some of that today, but there's plenty of interesting stuff that we'll get to in the follow-up videos as we take a deep dive into the process, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Yvonne. I'm the manager of our production line where we make vintage style electrolytic can capacitors. What makes our capacitors so unique is that we use antique equipment, original Mallory machines, and we make every capacitor and test every capacitor by hand. Over 20 years ago, we purchased this equipment from a company in Mexico and brought it to the United States. We are very fortunate to find a brilliant mechanic who has managed to keep this antique, antiquated equipment running smoothly and running smoothly for 20 years. When we first started manufacturing these capacitors, we only had a few values, one of the, mo the most popular ones. But since that time, we have built an inventory of over 30 different types. Our vintage electrolytic capacitors are used in amplifiers, hi-fi equipment, and in antique radios. Here we are outside the door of CE Manufacturing. Let's go in and take a look at that Mallory equipment. This is Pete, our mechanic, who's managed to keep this Mallory equipment working for the last 20 years. Hello, nice to meet you. This is the stamping machine, where we stamp out sections of anode and cathode. During that process, tab is attached to each of the sections, and that tab ultimately is welded to the lugs that the user will then put into their piece of equipment. We're now at the step where we use the winding machine. The winding machine takes the sections of anodes and puts them in between craft paper around the cathode. Pete makes it look really easy, and trust me, it's not. There's a true art to winding a capacitor. This is the finished winding of the capacitor, and these aluminum tabs are the tabs that are attached to the anode and cathode in the stamping process. Ultimately, these tabs are fed through these solder lugs and welded. These are the lugs that will attach to your piece of equipment. In our next video, we'll pick up where we left off and show you the next steps in the production process, as well as the machines that are used after the capacitors have been wound. Thanks for watching the video. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and like and subscribe to stay up to date. When part two of the series is finished, we'll add a link to the description below.